Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video with me, Sherman. Guys, this game is called Palea. This is a guide to fishing in Palea. And I hope it helps you, helps you understand the game of fishing in this wonderful world. Um, so if you don't know what Palea is, it's a new game by Singularity 6 Studios that came into open beta recently. And this, uh, a lot of people ask on the Discord all the time, how do you fish? How do you fish? So I'm hoping that this video will help you understand that. Fishing's quite simple. First, you have to be able to equip your fishing pole. So you press and hold R, and as you can see here, you have your tool wheel. As long as you're holding R, you have this open. Just mouse over your fishing pole, let go, it equips. You can also click it, and it'll equip. So once you have your fishing pole in your hand, what you're going to do is you're going to press the right mouse button, or the left mouse button, sorry, left, and that's going to allow you to cast. Now, if you notice, when I do that, you'll see a circle heading out. That's where you can cast, is wherever that circle is, is where you can cast. And there are certain areas in the world you can fish, we'll get to that in a minute, but that's where you can cast. When I let go of this button, I will cast, the, cast out and it'll land there in that spot, and then it's a waiting game. So, that's that. That right there is called a fishing hotspot. We will fish that in a second. But that is called a fishing hotspot. As long as you see that circle with the fish jumping out, remember this. That is where you get gold star fish the easiest. And it's a guarantee every time. So, how to fish? Press and hold. Let go. Bobber goes out. And you sit and you wait. Now, as you're sitting here, you'll see the bobber will bounce like that. When it does that, it'll do it three times. On the third time, the fish will snag. That's when you want to press the left mouse button to reel in. And I have a goal. I have a worm attached. So this is going to be a fight. All right. Enchanted pupfish. All right. Let me go ahead and remove my bait. And this is another thing. So when you press the right mouse button, when you have your fishing pull equipped, this is your bait window. You have a hook for no bait, you can have glow worms, and you can have worms. These are the, th the two baits you can equip. When you have no worms equipped, you're going to catch normal, common fish. And then when you have worms equipped, you're going to catch more rare fish. And then it, when glow worms are equipped, you're going to catch rarer fish. And this is in each of the different water types throughout the land of Paleo. I mean, I, I think it's called Bahari province, but we won't get into that. So that's how you do it. And w if you want to go for those harder fish, equip those, those, those other worms. But if you want to just catch normal fish, this is how you do it. And we're going to fish this little uh, circle down here uh, for the gold star, so just so I can show you. In fact, I'm going to use a worm because the gillyfin fish icon is bugged. And I want to show you that what I mean is true. So as long as you can cast into it, and all you have to do is put your bobber anywhere within or on the edge of the circle. And it can be a little bit outside of it, and you'll still catch it. But the way you tell when you catch one is, wait for it, the circle disappears. That's when you know you've caught the hot spot fish. And when you reel it in, like I said, guaranteed gold star fish. So just understand that when, that when you're fishing, the hot spots are like that. Now, hot spots are located in the same spot all the time. They do change um, regularly, like to different locations. They're all over the place. Like there's one there. No, I did not know it was going to spawn. Because <laughs> I've been asked that. How do you know where they're at? I just, I do a lot of hotspot fishing myself because I like to make money. And it's a good way to make a couple thousand gold really fast is just hotspot fish. So hotspot fishing is a way you can make money. You can also fish just anywhere at any time and can't make money. I do a lot of fishing at the pond and I miss that fish. Um, but I do a lot of fishing at my pond. And also if you miss a fish, just leave the bobber. And it'll, it'll start to bounce again, and you can just catch a regular fish.
Now, a lot of you... Oh, I caught a painter, a perch. Ooh, I got the gold star. Cool. That's never happened. Now, a lot of you are going to ask, what kind of places can I fish? Well, that's another problem that a lot of people uh, have and they don't understand. The easiest way to tell where you can fish on a map is just look for the dark water. Anytime you see like a lightly colored water, most of the time you can't fish there. Now, I will tell you this. The whispering banks you can fish in this spot here. And if you're wondering where the best place to fish is, it's wherever you like to fish. Like I said, I do a lot of fishing at my home plot, my housing plot. There's a lake off to the right side. Catch a lot of like pond fish from it. So what are the different fishing types? Well, there's the Bahari, what's called the Bahari Lake or Kilima Lake fishing area. That is the Fisherman's Lagoon and everything from here all the way to here is Kilima Lake all this water outside there. That is Kilima Lake. You'll catch certain types of fish in the Kilima Lake area. Down over here, this is a river. So this is one of the river areas, but this is a Kilima River. That is different from the Bahari Rivers. So the fish are gonna be different here than they are over there. The only fish that are always the same, no matter which map you're in, is the ponds. So ponds always have the same fish. But Bahari River, which is in the Bahari district or Bahari map, that place has river fish separate from here and it has ocean fish. So the Bahari, the Kilima Lake has lake fish and then the, the, the river fish um, for this area. So that's the difference. You catch a lot of trout, you catch a lot of catfish in this area over in Bahari Bay. I forget the kind of fish like minnows and there's an oily anchovy you can catch and stuff in the rivers. I don't remember all of them because there is a ton of fish in this game, probably close to a hundred. Um, it, it doesn't look like it when you look at the what's called the achievements and you look at the different types of fish, because this is like Kilima and Bahari fish, this is all of them. And like, like I said, there's so many different types of fish, I couldn't tell you where every single one of them is. But once you catch a fish, you can mouse over it, and it'll tell you, found in Bahari Bay Caves using worms. If you go up to say, um, like the sturgeon, it'll say, found in Kilima Lake using glow worms. And you can tell what type of fish they are by what kind of color icon they have. Like this is a common fish. I think this is an uncommon. This is a rare fish. Yeah. And it's just the color of their, their, their thing. There are epic fish. They're purple. I don't know if I have any. I, I want to say I did have a few but I could be wrong because a lot of the, the, the those ones are the ones that are blacked out here and some of these fish are really hard to fish uh, they're epic fish so blue is rare this is so common uncommon and uh, cloudfish is rare and then you have your epic fish which are purple um, and it, it's pretty easy to tell you know when you catch them what they are just by mousing over them and then on top of that, fishing also has food that you can get. There's food you can craft and, and stuff like that that help you with fishing. It's mostly any food made with fish besides the, the basic baked fish. But anything beyond that, like or the grilled fish, sorry. Uh, grilled fish you can't gain any benefit from, but like fish soup gives you a bonus to fishing. Uh, sushi, so the, the, the sushimi. Anything with, with fish in it mostly will give you a, a boost to fishing. And there is a drink you can get from Einar, who is this lovely gentleman right here, or person, or thing, Gollum. And this is also the fishing trainer, uh, but he sells a recipe to you when you get high enough in fishing that you can get that will also give you a boost. There are other items called attachments. They go in here. These are uh, fishing attachments and what they look like. You can see they have different rarities to them as well. Common, uncommon. 
Uh, they boost your fishing capability, just like the food does. And these have health bars, so they only last so long, just like food buffs only last so long. The only item for fishing that does that has a permanent thing besides the pole is the bobbers. Now you can equip a bobber, and once it's equipped, it just changes the color of the bobber. And if you're wondering how you get bobbers and like the attachments, Are you here Einars will teach you your first fishing uh, attachment, which is the minor health booster, and it, it tells you what it does. Uh, right, I think it's like level two or three in fishing he'll teach you this i think it's two but he'll teach you this and then you can whenever you craft it it automatically goes in your fishing attachment slot and like i said it has a health bar they go pretty quick I'm not gonna lie about 20 fish i think then when you scroll down through his list you'll see all the 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 um enhancements and things that he sells you and like recipes but when you get down here, you'll start to notice a change in the currency from gold to what's called metals. Now, fishing metals are things you earn after you hit level 10 in fishing. They don't come quick. You have to level completely up to get 10. Now, you do get some extra ones from achievements and stuff, so don't be afraid. You'll get about, say, 100 or so from that. But these are the bobbers. Now, you do get some, from what I am to understand, I did get mine from a quest. I'm not going to tell you who. you got to play the game to find out. But you can get a bobber from a quest. That's where I got mine. And as far as I know, there is another bobber you get from a quest. But there's three different types of bobbers here. There's actually four, I think. Yeah, the lantern bobber. I don't have this one. This is supposed to be really cool. Um... Uh, looking, I've seen one person using it. So whoever has that, man, they've done a lot of fishing. And yeah, so you can get these different attachments. Now there is a tuning fork. This allows you to find rare fish locations or the hot spots, if you will. So you can I get those, and you can get a recipe to craft them yourself. Cool. But that's fishing in a nutshell. It's it's super simple. It's super chill. It's super fun. One of my favorite uh, things to do in the game, if you haven't noticed. Like, that's the only thing I have that's at rank 12. Um, I love fishing. I do it all the time. I fish at my, like I said, at my housing plot a lot. I will I will sit there all night with glow worms or regular worms or no bait and just fish and just catch fish all night. It's a nice, nice income if you're looking to make money. Einar also buys fish through his shop as of the latest patch. They added this, that the trainers will buy the items that they uh, train you in. So this is really cool. I don't know if Tish buys furniture, though. I don't think she does, because furniture is untradeable and unsellable. But yeah, and that's 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 how you do the fishing thing. I mean, I but I hope this, this guide helped. I, I hope this video people. helped. And if it did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. But other than that, you guys know what's coming next. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can subscribe. If you do subscribe, remember to click that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you in game. Bye. Hey.